and uh, so I have already taken out uh, this piece. Uh, so they were, you know, first thing I did was obviously take out this top grill, which was just snap off. And uh, then there were two seven millimeter uh, bolts uh, over here, as you can see. So took those two out, uh, speaking grill was off. And then there were two over here focus the silver one uh, and then this one so it took those two out and it this piece just came off and uh, for the bottom I uh, you know removed one two two screws over here to uh, same seven millimeter bolts uh, over there and there was this one plug that just you know I pushed it snapped off and then I turned it to this side and it's just sitting over here. Um, I did have to remove uh, this one and this one. So a total of one, two, three, and six. So six over there and then one, two, and then there were two um, over here. So 10 screws so far. And uh, now I'm gonna take off these two and these two. Okay, so those four are out, and yeah, so there's a few connectors that I'm gonna so it looks like there's one and two I'm only seeing two so far all right so I did remove it um, again I wish I had a videographer to uh, take the video while I was doing it so there was you know one uh, connector over here uh, and one connector over here and that was the only two connectors and this one was a little tricky the big one to take out um, I had to, I had to press on this tab over here. It's kind of hard to see, but this kind of pushes a little bit and then this whole gray piece, you know, came off. So, because as you can kind of see this, this thing was locked. If I push it, it's going to lock, right? So like this, and then you press on the tab and then you pull that gray piece out and this whole thing just came off. And then the other piece was, uh, you know, again, you just press the top and pull it back and that came out. The kit that I purchased, um, you know, uh, I don't believe it, uh, it, because see the original part is, it's like a bracket and then the screen and then this computer, I think it's called the APIM module. Uh, so the screen and the bracket and the APIM is all connected into one piece. And, you know, that's how I basically, you know, took it out. So I'm going to see what the, the kit came with uh, and then figure out if I have to, you know, I may have to unscrew these four screws um, so that I can remove and then maybe these screws as well, which are like an odd shape. Um, I'm going to go from there and uh, see how it looks. Okay, so the kit I got, uh, it actually, the APIM is already attached to the screen, but there's no bracket. So it looks like I'm going to have to remove the bracket from the old one. Um, but yeah, it has the same connector over here. Uh, the black one, big black one. And then the gray one is a USB. And... Um, there's another one, the black one that you see in the small one, that is for the GPS antenna. And I was told whether you, um, your car came with navigation or not, whether you're going to use navigation or not, you do have to uh, hook up the external antenna that was provided in the kit. It's right here with the uh, 3M sticky tape. And that is going to go into this black one. And then I will um, fix the antenna uh, behind uh, these two speakers on the center and then the grill will come on top of that so i'm gonna try to figure out how to remove the bracket from the old screen 
All right, so yeah, so definitely this is the old screen and the APIM. I'm gonna have to remove these four screws again, which are star shaped or whatever shape they are, but I have a few uh, bits, so I'm gonna see which bit fits. Okay, so it was really easy to uh, remove the brackets. Uh, this is the new module actually I already removed the brackets and I had to use uh, it's not T20, I believe it's H27 type of, uh, oh, there it is. H2.7 is uh, what I used. And they were not super tight, so, you know, just a screwdriver, obviously, I wouldn't recommend a drill or anything like that. And I was able to take it out, and I'm going to put them back in, in the new module with the same bit. All right, the new module is ready to go. Uh, it was very simple. The same four, you know, four screws, same brackets. It's all ready to go. Go back in the car and fit it up. Okay, so this, uh, I was telling you earlier, this black USB piece, uh, it's actually not for the antenna. This is for the antenna. And uh, so what I have done is, you know, I just I just put this antenna piece over here with the the sticky tape on the bottom so i haven't stuck it yet but i just right next to the speakers there was this gap pulled the wire came back you know on this side so i can uh, connect it so three connections uh the big connector the antenna and the usb cable goes in the gray one i don't know what goes in the black one honestly so uh, we'll see Okay, so I plugged in the antenna and uh, the, the the snapping thing was is at the bottom and there's two kind of slots so you'll know uh, there's only one way it can go in, right? So it's, it's a round connector, but there's only one way you can put it in. Otherwise, it's not going to snap. Um, again, same thing with the, the big the black connector, right? There's only one way it can go in. If you, you know, if you try to put these a ton of colorful wires on this the right side of the uh you know it's, it's just not gonna go in right uh and now the usb although i took it out from the gray slot the new one wouldn't go in the gray one it had to go in the black one so i hope that my usb connections will still work and um and i don't know what the second you know one is for i don't know if i can get more usb ports if I have some type of connector that goes from the gray one back into my center console. So we'll see. So this is all set up. Uh, you know, I'm about to, uh, kind of, you know, put it in and then uh, we'll see what happens. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's working. It's definitely sync three. Uh, looks like the navigation is working also. So um, I'm going to set it back up. Okay, so now that you know, you already saw that this is all working. So I turned off the car and you know, put the system back in with the four screws. Um, one, two, three, four. Actually, no, not 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 this one. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Okay, this one I never took it out. I think this is for this uh, uh, tweeter or speaker or whatever that is. So yeah, these two screws you don't have to take it out now. The antenna, although it was working, um, I think it's supposed to go there. It's supposed to go somewhere at least because um, it has this plate. Um, so I'm going to try to figure out. And, and if you notice, it has this, you know, black clip over here and this white clip over here. So I think they are supposed to go somewhere. So I'm going to try to figure out uh, where they go um, and uh, post back. So I was not able to figure out where it's supposed to attach itself. Uh, so I have just left it there. I don't want to use a sticky tape um, and stick it where it's not supposed to be stuck. So I'm going to ask the seller if he knows uh, where that's supposed to be attached. Um, one thing is that I never got any screws, even though there's this plate with holes in it, but there's no um, screws that were provided so i'm not sure where it's supposed to go but at least it's you know the grill i can i can push the grill down uh, but i still have to you know hook up some pieces so i haven't done that but it's not causing any um you know the, the grill still goes in nicely now while driving if that thing moves around because i haven't stick it anywhere then obviously i can take the grill out again and stick it using the sticky tape but for right now i just kind of left it in there uh, as you can kind of see 
So it's just it's just sitting there and I ran this wire, which, you know, to my surprise, you know, came nicely insulated and everything with this foam. So, um, yeah, so all the clips kind of go in nicely and it doesn't, you know, uh, doesn't cause any issues. So. OK, so put this put this piece here. I still have to screw one, two um, over here, these two screws. And uh, then I'll put this grill and then we have one, two over here. And then I'm going to put this piece back. Okay, that piece has been attached. The four screws are there. Uh, before I do flip this over and uh, do all the screws, uh, keep in mind uh, there was this one uh, cable. Don't forget about this. Otherwise, you're going to have to unscrew it and do it again. All right, so the cable is in there. I flipped this back in. I still have to uh, um, screw them on. But, you know, while I was at it, it's really nasty. Uh, obviously, you don't see that because of these two clips. So while I'm at it, I'm just going to uh, clean it up nicely. All right, much better. So while I'm at it, now you might be, not, you might be wondering, you know, for some reason, even though I cleaned it with the, the flashlight, it still looks dirty. But, oh, well, we'll take it for detail. So anyway, so uh, I have I also use this uh, Alexa Auto uh, that you can see over here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to um, route the the wiring from over here into the new USB hub. Talking about that, um, the USB hub, uh, you know, I have this one. It's a 2015 MKT, so it comes with the SD card in the middle and two USB ports on the right side, and then the RCA connector on the left side. So I have to take that out too. Um, I won't be able to use RCA, not that I do it anyway, so because um, the new connector uh, only has uh, two USB ports right here, and it also comes with this bracket because, you know, the new USB is very small, and uh, like if I take this out, there'll be a lot of empty space, so it comes with a bracket, and it also comes with uh, two kinds of uh, wires over here. I'm only going to have to use one, so depending on which you know generation you have i think uh, they go with generation one and then 2a and 2b so there's three kinds of uh you know connectors but yeah uh, my, uh, my kit came with two of these so hopefully one of them will fit so after i uh, you know put all this back together i'm gonna i'm gonna remove this and it's just pry off there's no screws or nothing so you know just use a, a plastic you know like something and then you can pry it off and then i'll get to that all right so So the plate came off. Put that to the side. And, uh, hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to take actually this, this piece also out. So, because this is the actual port. All right. All right, so what I had to do actually was, um, there were four of these clip looking things uh, and I just pushed on one of them with a flat head and this came out. So the actual frame to the side, you know, doesn't have to come out. You know, the top plate obviously does and then uh, you just push on any one of the clips, I think, uh, and the thing comes out. I think it is connected something yes so there's that that wire and try to there you go came out oh there's another one looks like okay looks like there's another one let me try to use both hands i'll be back all right so yes so there were two connectors as you can see i was able to remove them uh, again just had to kind of press the top and again the room was very you know little and there was no wiggle in the wire actually so I had a hard time doing that you know by hard time I mean like a minute so uh, yeah so it's it's out now yeah there you go so those were the two wires now the problem is gonna be okay never mind so there are three connectors in this one, the new, this is the new one. So I'll have to figure out which one goes in which one. All right, let's try to figure it out. 
Okay, so on the left is the old one, on the right is the new one. In the video, you know, it does look a little dirty, but it's a promise you, it's just a glare. It is a brand new piece. Uh, so yeah, it's it's not dirty, it's just a glare. So, okay. Otherwise, I would have reached out to the seller. Okay, so these cables that came, uh, let's see. Yeah, I believe, okay, yeah, this one is definitely not for me because I need something that can go here. Well, not here, it has to be this, it has to be this shape. So it's not this cable. Let's try the other cable. Look at that. So yeah, so this piece will go in there somewhere. And then this other end will go into the USB port here. And the other cable will simply go in there, which is the same. So I'll have to use the, the right side for the USB and then this. All right, let's do this. All right, so that part is there. The good part is now I have some wiggle room because I have this extra cable. So I can push that back in and I have to reach out to the USB and put it in this, in this piece over here. And before we do that, I'm gonna need this bracket. All right, let's do this. All right, both the pieces are in using the adapter and again, there's only one way you can uh, snap it on. You, tr you can try any other way, any other connector, any other, like, you know, like I was saying. So this piece is still empty. Let's push this back in. And um, I believe the USB symbols are supposed to go on the top, but let me try it and we'll figure it out. All right, so I have connected the USB uh, for the Alexa. Uh, let's turn it on and... Uh, USB is working. So, okay, let's see. Awesome. And I tell you this, man, like if you're on Sing 2, um, the display was awful, right? I mean, you had to like press and hold type of stuff, but, and I don't know if the video will do justice, but look, look, I mean, it's so quick. And you know the best part I like? So again, my car is in accessory mode, but look, I mean, I still have the, the heated seats, the cool seats, the steering wheel, and, I, and again, I think it's dependent on the, the vehicle because it came programmed. Um, talking over the volume, so let me turn that down. And again, I, I use the steering wheel, so uh, I'm pretty sure even, there you go. Yeah, so, and actually, the AC also works. I accidentally turned on the AC, so that also works. Uh, dark mode, uh, it's nighttime over here, 7.27 p.m. Uh, so uh, so that worked, and I still have to remove the, the film. I haven't removed that, that, that film on top because I wanted to make sure everything works. Trust me, I'll remove it. Um, and I haven't added my phone yet uh, because I, this is, again, this is not wireless CarPlay, right? It's wired CarPlay. So what I have, I have a, this little adapter, uh, which makes it, uh, wireless CarPlay. So I'm going to put that adapter. Oh, look at that. I didn't even see that it lights up. So I'm going to put that wireless CarPlay in the second USB port, and then I'm going to add my phone through that. That way I'll, I'll have wireless CarPlay. And, uh, yeah, looking good, looking good. Um, so let's uh, let's finish up the, the grill on the top and the, the cup holders. Uh, don't forget, there is a piece uh, that goes into the cup holder because the cup holders have these LED lights and stuff like that. So uh, let's wrap it up. All right, so the top speaker grill is back on. All the clips fit just nicely. And like I said, it's still, the, the GPS antenna is just, just still hanging. Okay, I guess one clip was missing. It's still hanging up there loose. I'm gonna find out from the seller if I'm supposed to clip it somewhere or, you know, sticky tape it. And if it, honestly, if it doesn't move while driving, I'm just gonna leave it 
plus just like that uh, that way you know uh, it's it's flexible so that's done this is done the leds or the cup holders work uh and yeah sorry it's nasty i'm gonna i'm gonna clean it but you know with the flash it looks uh nastier than it actually is um so yeah so that's that's all set up um let me set up my carplay adapter the wireless carplay uh with this second usb port and then uh i will be back all right all right guys so this was the little box uh, in this black box this was the wireless carplay box uh, so my phone is set up because you know I'm I'm using the phone to record it, so um, it's it's wireless. As you can see, there's no wires connected to my phone. You know, that uh, right side black one goes to that but um, the Anki Way box, and the left side goes to my Alexa. I don't want to say Alexa because it's going to start to listen to me anyway. So yeah, it's it's wireless CarPlay. Uh, you know, so it's look at that. Awesome. So yeah, it's awesome. So, but yeah, s s same thing with the Sync Three upgrade. My car has eighty thousand miles on it. I wish I had done it sooner. Why I didn't do it, it was fifteen hundred dollars for this kit. So again, this is not this video is not sponsored by the seller or anything like that. Uh, I bought this kit from a U.S. seller. Uh, it came to my house within ten days from China. Okay, it didn't take three months, it, you know, literally international shipping. The dude is actually he has a, you know, uh, I've been texting him and stuff. He has a U.S. number. He lives in U.S., but the logistics are set up in China. So I will I will put a link uh, in the description. Uh, you know, feel free to reach out to him. There's, this is again, this is not sponsored. He's not going to give me a cut or anything like that. I bought this kit uh, on Amazon and uh, it's seven hundred fifty dollars half price. So. Um, it came with zero instructions, okay? Uh, but you know, you talk to the seller, and um, he he will um, he will he'll, he'll give you a YouTube links and stuff like that. Um, when I when I bought it, there was no link for a 27, 2015 MKT, so he gave me a link for it was like a MKZ or something like that. And uh, obviously, the panels and everything was way too different. But you know, I was able to figure it out but um yeah this is this is awesome and uh, i will put a link feel free to buy it feel free to download it's not gonna be an affiliate link so even if you click on the link it's not gonna you know i'm not gonna get any money out of that or anything like that uh so same thing uh the, the kit did not come with this anki way box okay obviously that's separate and i'll put a link for that too and again it's not sponsored by anki way box it's not a, a promotional video or anything like that um you know the seller doesn't even know and again I'll, I'll, I'll put a link for that too uh they typically sell for you know 100 130 dollars uh i was able to find it for 55 uh but again you know when you click on the link and you know it it takes you to this product and it's selling for you know 130 uh you know again don't blame me i, I was just lucky enough to find it it was on a deal or whatever right so again this is not sponsored or anything like that so uh that's it guys oh while I'm at it, let's uh, do the inauguration. Awesome. Awesome. And, and, and you know, you can tell it's wireless uh, also. Well, I guess you can because, you know, I'm using the phone to record it, right? It's so because you can see it's uh, it's red over here, right? So that means that it's using the audio video and stuff if you are into iPhones, right? But again, it works with Android uh, Auto uh, Autoplay. No, Android Auto as well so uh yeah it's good all right see you guys thanks for watching if you have any questions uh you know put put a comment and i will definitely uh reply uh i, I get notifications for the comments so as soon as you put a comment you know within a couple of minutes i'll try to respond all right see you guys thanks